The budget deadline is approaching. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Newsmakers. With me is Pennsylvania State Representative Mike Verb. Thanks for being with us. Glad to be here, Jill. June 30th is the budget deadline. Let's talk a little bit about what's going on in the process right now. Uh, you, as a, the Republican House, are presenting your version of the budget. It's $28.4 billion budget. This represents an increase over last year. Yes, it represents an increase, but it's also one we're depending on actual revenue, which we're awaiting a report before we actually run that budget. And uh, we, we want our checks and balances to be right for the, for the people of Pennsylvania, no doubt. Talk to us a little bit about where we stand with revenue in the Commonwealth. Is revenue actually down? Revenue collections are actually down in terms of predictions of where revenue would be. I mean, we're not facing a deficit here in the Commonwealth, uh, but we need to see in June how the collections were in the end of April and May to actually know what our spend number. We're actually doing something that everyone does at home. We're, we're attempting to spend only what we have and only what we know we're going to have as opposed to anticipating uh, revenue. So uh, that makes for a good balanced budget and something that we can adjust down the road if we need to, middle of the year. Uh, but we're going to pass a budget that is balanced and that is, is factual and one that we can go back home and tell people that we did not only balance, not only the tax increases, but on time for the third year in a row. Does the House Republican budget, uh, is it contingent on other factors that could happen legislatively, things like privatization or things like pension reform? You know, the governor introduced his framework, his budget proposal in February, and with a lot of initiatives. Those initiatives uh, remain top priority, and they may get done. Privatization may get done by June 30th. We are not putting our budget on the backs of any major piece of legislation in terms of what would happen to it. Imagine we get into the June 15th, June 20th timeline, and a major piece of legislation worth several hundred million dollars falls apart, doesn't pass, doesn't become law. Now we have to go back and start cutting programs. People that had hope when they left for the summer that we were going to have level funding for them or increased funding for them, now that piece of legislation fell, now, now we have to start making cuts. So we want to work off of real numbers, real-time data, which, which we have and will have here in another week or so uh, from the Independent Fiscal Office. I want to quickly ask you about some other things currently underway, things like transportation funding, because this wasn't necessarily addressed in the last budget cycle. Will that be addressed in this budget cycle? There is a lot of pressure for the June 30th deadline as well for transportation. This, the governor introduced a $1.4 billion transportation budget. I believe Senator Raffrey's proposal is over $2 billion. Uh, you know, we are going to wait to see what comes from the Senate. Uh, we, are, we are poised and ready to deal with the transportation issues uh, in the House. It's going to take bipartisan support. It's not going to take talking points. It's going to take the people at home to understand that the way we're going and the way to find it, the roads are financed to be repaired is just not going to be sustainable long term. We need to do something. And we have to look at Senator Raffrey's bill and then look at the governor's spend number. And I, I, I would think that the House Republican Caucus is somewhere going to be in the middle of that goalpost uh, of, in terms of, of creating revenue. I want to ask about higher education funding in this budget process as well. Higher ed had taken hits in past years. Where does it stand in this budget? All of our, our state-related, uh, the Penn State's temples of the world, Lincoln's, uh, they've all stood with the governor early on and agreed to level funding from last year. See, a lot of these uh, uh, universities have made reforms, have made cuts, have made um, noticeable changes, which that's all we ask for, being good stewards of the money. Uh, Temple's been a leading charge in that, frankly. There are, you know, right here local in, in Philadelphia, uh, near here in Montgomery County, and uh, they've made you know, substantial changes that really show the legislature in Harrisburg that we're willing to work with the money you give us and be good stewards of it. So we, we look forward to the level of funding for that and our community colleges. Thanks so much for being with us. Glad to be here. We've been talking with Pennsylvania State Representative Mike Burb. I'm Jill Horner.